Hello everybody, wanted to give a quick update here um, what I was able to work on this weekend. So let's come in through the back door again. So what I've done is I've taken all of the, uh, I'll turn the point cloud off here in a second. So we'll have um, uh, regular uh, applied molding with raised panels. Um, what I've done here is I've taken the um, the coffered idea, and I think it's going to look really good. Um, took me a lot of messing around with it, um, but I'll show you here in just a second. So this is the uh, the existing oven area that that goes away. So the the, the cabinetry here, um, this is where the beam is, and you, we've got our light fixture there. It's not going to affect this, but the, it's kind of interesting how this thing's hanging right in the center so we're pretty close to dead center uh, for the coffer but let me pull the turn the point cloud off and so what I did is I lowered the cabinets this crown molding here um, comes down about two and three quarters inches so it doesn't doesn't have a lot of height to it and but it comes right down to the bottom of these um, these coffers or these beams um, when I turn the point cloud back on you can see that this is where the um, uh, the beam or excuse me the siding is that's on the ceiling right now so I want, uh, we're going to check with the contractor to see if this can be moved um, or I'll make a, a slight modification to this cr this upper crown molding and make it a little bit smaller so that we can put a thin layer of sheetrock on the lid and then um, get that double so this this was generated from um, a photograph that Denise had given me which had a, a double double crown profile so these are the beam, bottoms of the beams these are four inches in the field and two inches around the perimeter and then we've got our crown molding that goes around the cabinet so I lowered the cabinets down the upper cabinets down um, that two and a half inch or two and three quarter inch dimension I left this arch across the top here but I pulled it back um, just put a small little 45 right there so that it gives a little bit of an interest with the crown molding coming across there so it's not a straight shot and then I mirrored that or kept that over on the same the same idea over here um, let me bring the the hood back in there and this guy Denise had mentioned that there was going to be, uh, um, she wanted to look into some possible um, different manufacturers for the hoods um, so we can make a modification. This panel, this panel above here can, can raise up a little bit. Uh, we just need that, once again, we just need that area up above to run our chaseway across. Um, so let me bring this back out, sorry about that. Um, so once again, all the uh, raised panels and the uh, molding are square simple drawer fronts with the with the applied molding plenty of room for knobs and pulls uh, we still have our uh, I need to get uh, dimensions for the farm style sink that's going to be there and Denise gave me a detail I didn't have time to do it yet um, to change this foot detail and bring this down simplify this um, but I think the coffer is going to work really well. It's going to add a really nice look to the ceiling in there. And then we also, I worked on the uh, banquette. So we have an applied molding, a curved applied molding here. This was angled forward. Um, that makes it really hard to do curved moldings and panels there. So um, I just made that square but pulled it back a little bit. Got enough. We took this this uh, little little straight section out of there, um, so you have plenty of room to get in there. I, I, you might even be able to put something there on the wall. Um, that is the this is the new the new width of the opening. Um, but once again, that's the kitchen with the proposed coffered ceiling. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I, I did the layout so that this panel and this panel are the same, um, which gives us a small panel here on either side, but that matches with this guy down here on this end. But then this also gives us a nice detail for the crown molding on the refrigerator coming around 
with that two inch reveal there and there with a four inch in the field so um, anyway we'll definitely want to be involved in the installation of this ceiling also um, so that we get a nice nice lineup and reveal with the, the placement of the refrigerator and um, these reveals all around here so that's it for right now hope everybody had a great weekend i will talk to you guys soon take care